Hi guys, um, this is Michael and Matteo uh, again from Seagull and uh, today we started our cycling journey. So we started off this morning having a absolutely fantastic night's sleep, right? I had a great night's sleep, I yeah. had a couch. Yeah, and I had like a weird chair that hovered, so you know, good times, good times, good times. Um, so the ferry went pretty well, I think it went pretty fast, we ended up making a French friend and playing cards and finding out that he's a really good runner as well. Mm, nice. uh, he was so chill about it, but I think he was actually quite quite strong. Anyway, uh, nice guy. If you ever run into Baptiste, um, he you have our uh, our backup or say that he's a good guy. Anyways, um, we then landed. Sorry about the light. It's gonna happen every now and again. We then landed in Sherbrooke and um, decided to cycle down from Cherbourg to a little place called Le Ham. At least that was the idea. So it started off pretty well. I had to go up a bit of a hill and then it ended up being fairly downhill from there and it was pretty chill and you know what, we, we even stopped by a little shop as we were like, let's get some dinner and uh, everything is going to be good. Wait. <laughs> We found a pretty massive uh, <laughs> Le Leclerc um, for, and bought a bunch of food in case there were any problems. And guess what? There were problems. When we uh, got out of the shop, we were like, let's check the campsite. You know, I should give them a call, make sure they exist. And guess what? They didn't exist. So then we were like, all right, what do we do? And we ended up looking around uh, the entire region and in the short time we had to make the decision we ended up find, finding a natural air camping I'm not sure mm. what is it very mild like we had just cycled about 30k or something yeah we just cycled 30k and, and in our today, mind or in my mind I was like oh, okay now we're we almost go, there like, 7 o'clock we'll have a nice evening maybe get some nice food and yeah. then we hear no, no, we have to go another 30k, which is double what we just did. Double the expectation. And you know how expectations are. And we didn't know what time sunset was coming, so we wanted yeah. to... And it's our first time building these tents, right? So yeah. we had to make sure that we could build them. And also, you know, we were exhausted from the ferry and everything. And uh, I think we learned a few lessons around cycling and distances today as well, which is good. Uh, but yeah, no, so we ended up finding it, a lovely lady it ended up being, right? She was actually quite calm, she was like, you're going to cycle the whole way, I can't believe it, but ended up, yeah, having to cycle the whole way. And uh, yeah, then we arrived in this lovely, lovely place, but before that, I think Matteo had a little bit of a, a few lessons learnt, as this is his first longer cycle on these kinds of trips, so I'm going to let him... Well, we got know. off the ferry really quickly, mm -hmm. and... Um, so we were like, oh, let's just do like what twenty k or something. Yeah, yeah, it was chill. We weren't so expecting much. We didn't put. I didn't put any bike shorts or bike t-shirt. Mm -hmm. I still had to jump around. Yeah, same here. Because so, we thought it was going to be relatively quick. Like yeah. you know, th those things are more important when you we start getting to longer distances. Around sixty k. So I think in the end, yeah, having put on the bike shorts probably would have been a good idea. Absolutely, but we didn't have a place to change. That's the problem. It was so going to be around, us, uh, bare ass on the side of the road somewhere. <laughs> Yeah, around 50k, my, I don't know how it works since I'm new to cycling, but whatever power input system your body has, <laughs> it just crashed. Yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. a computer, just yeah. it wasn't going to let me do anything. Uh -uh. Um, and I realized it just there wasn't any blood flow going to my legs, so uh -huh. if I stood up, like it would come back. Yeah, I know yeah. you stand when you cycle, yeah, or yeah. even just move. I think it's because how you're sitting on the, uh, on the saddle. You were very still on the saddle. It probably blocks the blood flow, and also like... I was probably pretty hungry by that time. Yeah, because so I'd hungry. had a snack when we stopped at the shop. You know, Matteo didn't. Thinking like, oh, we'll get there soon. I'll just yeah, eat dinner like, oh, in like, you know, yeah. 20 minutes. It's all good. Yeah. Yeah. But it turns out um, that didn't happen. So I was pretty hungry. I had my hand twitching as well. I don't know what that was about. Yeah, lack of electrolytes, as you maybe, were saying, probably. Maybe something like that. So um, by the time we got... Well, then I kind of got my energy. You know, energy comes mm -hmm. in waves. yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but eventually we got to the place. Yeah, I think when there were about ten k left, though, the energy just kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You needed food or needed food. something. But even when we got here, we had to set up the tent, so we were yeah, really yeah, patient yeah. about food and everything. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so definitely, 
eat at regular intervals. I think it's something I'm going to try to yeah, do tomorrow. Yeah. And um, wear bike shorts. Wear bike shorts. Yeah, sure. and move around as well. I think, like, even with bike shorts, at least I move around a lot. I didn't even realize I did it. I do it because it kind of like it starts being annoying or a little area or whatever. Well, but I have to say, what what was really beautiful is the scenery. Like, mm. honestly, I didn't think it was this beautiful. Mm. From it's like I I said to Mike, it's like a a myriad of Van Gogh paintings. Yeah. Just one after the other. Yeah. Um, like there's it's just. Yeah, it's, it's stunning. Like, I wasn't expecting it either. Because yeah, yeah. I was expecting the start to be the kind of relatively boring part because we're supposed to go to beautiful areas. And it's like, no, this in and of itself is yeah. a fantastic area to cycle. It was beautiful. Like, yeah. um, and that's probably why I slowed down a bit as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, blame it. Blame yeah, it on the, yeah. the beauty. I was like, I need to take this in. Like, yeah. Marcus, like, take some pictures. I'm like, no, 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 I'm not here. <laughs> yeah. I want to I enjoy it. I want to take the moment. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, which yeah, to be fair Normandy has a massive history so I think you could tell yeah there was like one towns. town that had like American flags and British flags and there was even a German military cemetery yeah. and then we were going through it and this like historical car passed through it yeah yeah, yeah. like a military yeah like, like, histo- like, like military from like the World War 2 yeah yeah, yeah yeah so it's definitely you can definitely feel the influence of I don't know yeah. history here we also saw in well, I can't remember, but whatever, sec, 72nd, correct me if I'm wrong, yeah. um, anniversary of D-Day, yeah. poster and everything. Like, yeah, did, so Take that stuff real serious here. You can definitely feel it as you're going by, especially the towns. Um, they're very historic, like old towns. Mm-mm. They don't look... It's not like, like you go in Ireland, yeah. you'll have a kebab place, you'll have a Chinese yeah, place. That doesn't exist here. It was only here. French. Like, yeah. it was just, everything was and French. everything was old as everything well. Everything was old, traditional. It wasn't, yeah. There was no modernization. Not really. Kind of surprising. No, no, no. Like, like it didn't, it's, I think the way to put it though is, this, it's not that everything looked old. It's just, it was like old style. It looked like it had been there for a while, but it was yeah. really well maintained. Yeah. And also yeah. the roads we took, because Google Maps is set up to yeah. be off-road. Well, um, yeah, like off major roads because you don't want to be cycling on major roads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, for the first like two hours, I thought, are there any people in France? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, we like, didn't really meet any people. Like we saw cars every now and again. It was yeah, empty. It was empty. empty. Biking is ideal for cycling. Yeah. And it, what was wonderful as well is as we left the coast, you could just feel the wind calming, which made cycling way easier. Because then we kind of got into rhythm a little bit, like. Beyond the energy loss, but that's something but we that learned. Near the, the, the end, I think also it was a very nice downhill and rolling, yeah. kind of similar to Ireland. Yeah, very yeah, like a bit of up, a bit of down, a bit of up, yeah, a bit of down. You would get to nice. enjoy the down as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so kind of. Uh-uh. Uh, we'll see how tomorrow goes. Yeah, we still have to figure out exactly where we're staying tomorrow because we're having a bit of oh, trouble finding the the campsites again. Um, but we have a few ideas. Did you learn anything from today? Or, I mean, you're a bit of an expert. I think, I think cycling adventures. Yeah, I mean, I think more what I learned was from you. It's like that snack I had. Like I was starving, and I'm I'm really happy I ate. And even though sometimes you, you eat see weird things as well. Had. Yeah, because yeah, I had like some biscuits, which I almost never eat, but it just oh, filled me full of energy again. Um, bicycle shorts, absolutely. And now I have to figure out what's up with the jumper because I was taking it off and on, and you know, it's it's these weird little things, but it can get a little. I'm actually not about sure the about the the weather, like for mm. because I think it's quite good at the minute, but, but it's because it was the day, evening. Right? It's quite quite warm, so. Mm-hmm. We'll see, but um, definitely, I guess, booking campsites in the morning or something. Or at least calling them and knowing they exist. Yeah, I think that would be something we'll try to yeah, do. Yeah, rather than, tomorrow. to be fair, the, the general plan will be leave quite early, be in the general area at lunchtime, so worst case, we have the whole afternoon to make it to wherever we need to make it. Worst case, right? Uh, but yes, we will probably, I think because we we. Uh, we want to kind of see it day by day. What we're going to do is we're going to leave because we leave too early to really call the campsites. Then in the, but have a good general idea of where we might be going. Then call the campsites, you know, middle of the morning or whatever when we're on the bike or something and figure it out that way. I think that's a general idea, right? Yeah. 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 And then we'll see if we can't find any campsites, we might just stay in a vineyard, who knows? Yeah, vineyard. Ch- cheese, baguettes. Yeah. Cheese, and wine. And wine. 
that's how it, it is. Eat, sleep well. Um, I, I realized today though that it is going to be a challenge, which is kind of fun. Like, yeah. It's going to be, I'm going to be testing myself. Yeah, think yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not going and necessarily just dilly dallying, yeah, 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 yeah. right? You never know. I might see God. You might see God. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. It's good to challenge yourself. Um, Absolutely. Especially tomorrow. Let's see after tomorrow for the 100K. Yeah. Tomorrow, yeah, approximately 100K. We have to see exactly what the campsites are. It might even be a little longer than that. Yeah. Like by a few kilometers, nothing crazy. Yeah. But luckily, we we're trying to do it in the Mm -hmm. like the beginning of the day so you're not trying to chase yeah, the sunset and we're also just chilling yeah today we have to chase the sunset a little bit so I don't know. anyway i think that's it i think we're gonna go to bed now we're gonna go to sleep so. get that eight hours sleep exactly exactly and uh we have an alarm for 6 a.m yeah 6 a.m so we'll see how that goes we'll see you guys tomorrow morning all right see you next time or see you tomorrow <laughs>